In this instructional video, we're going to be looking at how to set up and install Browning Dark Ops Camera Trap. First, you'll need six AA batteries. To access the battery case, open the latch on the side and push the release button at the base of the camera. You should consider buying rechargeable batteries, as these will definitely be the best value long term. Next, you'll need an SD card. You'll want a reasonably sized one so you don't run out of memory space. An 8 or 16 GB card should be suitable for most purposes. Now you're ready to set up the camera. Turn the camera on. You'll notice straight away there is a timer. Once this counts down, the camera will switch into operation mode and begin to take photos. Press the mode button to begin setup. First, you'll need to set up the date and time so you know when each photo was taken. Hit the enter button to begin editing, and then change the date and time using the arrow keys. It's important to make sure that the date and time are set accurately, as this provides valuable information about species presence and activity times. When you're finished, hit enter again. You can then navigate to the next option using the arrow keys. The next setting is the operation mode. Here you can select which setting you want the camera to operate in. Trail cam is the default and takes photos when triggered by movement. Time lapse takes a series of photos at a pre-programmed interval and video takes a short film when triggered. For our purposes, we'll select trail cam. The next option is photo quality. Choose the quality of your images. If you have plenty of space on your SD card, then you may as well pick the highest quality images. Video quality. This is the same as before, but the setting only applies if you are operating in the video mode. Video length. Again, this only applies if you are operating in the video mode. Picture delay. In some cases, you may want to add a pre-programmed delay between consecutive triggers. This can be helpful if an animal arrives at a camera site and spends a long time there, setting the camera off again and again. Multi-shot modes. This lets you select how many photos you want the camera to take when it's triggered. It can be a good idea to take multiple photos at a given trigger. That way, if an animal races past the camera in a blur, you have a greater opportunity to correctly identify it. Here, you can choose your preferred temperature setting that will display on the photo metadata. Here, you can select the name of your camera. This is particularly useful if you have lots of cameras. Make sure that the image data strip is turned on. In most cases, you'll probably want the motion test left off. Make sure that you've selected No on the default settings. The time lapse setting is only relevant if you're using the time lapse function, and otherwise can be ignored. Make sure you've selected No to delete all. This refers to the format the images are in. You can select No for the software upgrade. When you're done setting up, press Enter to return to the main menu, and the timer will begin counting down again. 